everybody to our little den. This is our apothecary, blending, mixing, witchery den and you are very lucky to be inside with us because normally this is out of bounds. But anyway, we wanted to talk to you today about something that most of you really dislike and that is the humble dandelion. Mm. The Taraxacum officinal. Oh, you're very so clever. It's a weed to many, but it's a fantastic medicine to us herbalists. Mm. Um, there has been a phenomenal amount of research actually done on dandelion and it's such a versatile plant because you can use the leaves, you can use the stems, you can use the flower and importantly, you can use the roots. And that's what we've got here is some dandelion root. This dandelion root here was um, harvested last year and it's been drying over the winter. Um, I have in fact roasted some, these aren't roasted, but we have been roasting them as an alternative to coffee. Okay. With the bitters, we always like What to... is a bitter? Ah, oh, Swedish bitters, or bitters in general, digestive mm. bitters. So we use bitters to help with our digestive system. It helps to release the um, enzymes in your stomach to help you digest your food better. And also it's fantastic at, at helping you detox. Dandelion's got so many incredible properties, but bitters is something that I've I've known about for a while, but only been actually practically doing for the last couple of years. Um, I follow the traditional old manuscript of um, Swedish bitters, but this one, um, it's tasty and it's really simple, and I um, and, and it's simple ingredients. And I'm using oh, I hide the name. I'm using one of my favourite tipples. And I think you're using one of your favourite tipples. So we've got a vodka and a brandy, um, but you don't need to use alcohol. Um, so obviously people associate dandelion with the liver. So if you've yeah. got a liver problem, perhaps you don't actually want to be using alcohol. Um, so you can use glycerine um, in, in, and water actually to make an alternative, you know, if you're doing your coffee. Um, but it's so, so simple and we need. it's warming. So we've got two little... This is just for us at home. Yes. This isn't for resale, so you know, don't. These are sterilised. So we've got the little mason jars, and I'm going to suggest that we put um, about a good a good spoonful into the jar. So this one here, this is a really decent sized spoonful. Oops, I'm making one hell of a mess. You are, aren't you? Um, now. You want a bit of flavour to go with it, so I like to use orange. Now, I'm using orange because <laughs> that's what's in Sarah's kitchen, so I want to use some of the dry ginger, and again, this is ginger that we've we've dried over the year. Um, it's that actually took a quite... lot of chopping, to be honest. That was a bit of a nightmare, chopping the ginger. Now, this is quite strong, this ginger, so yeah. you may not want to use as much. I would say that it's one huge tablespoon in half sorry not great with measurements no it's all right though you can wing it a little i would bit. say about that size spoon this is one of them we like these spoons don't we we're a spoonaholic we do like wooden spoons yeah. and you don't need to use dried no you can use fresh you can use um fresh ginger which yeah. would be a, a, about a you know a decent wadge of ginger cut in cut into bits and put in you can and that really is it it's simple so I'm going to do it with the vodka. Okay. You can top yours up with brandy. Um, oh, God, this reminds whipper. me of Christmas. Cool, actually, that does smell quite good. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. I think we should do some more infusions with that. Actually, we... I would like to do it with rum. Rum rum is good. So how far do we... Oh, you, we're going up to the top, are Up we? to the top. Right. Um, now, this will be left four to six weeks. Now what I've, I've pinched is some of the dried oranges that we oh, yes. did the other day. Yes. I thought since they're there, just because I like the um, they look pretty. Well, they're just they, they just Don't taste they? great as well. So I'm going to show you mine. So this is with a brandy. Mm -hmm. So again, we've got the dandelion root, the dandelion root, not the leaf, at the bottom. We've got slices of uh, the orange skin. Try and leave as little pith, which is the white membrane, on the orange 
as possible. Um, you don't want too much of that because it, it, it will add to the bitterness. Uh, and then we've added some extra dried orange and ginger for um, the warmth. And ginger's very healing so as well. So a bitter will actually do what to your digestion? Is it better that you take it after or before you eat? Before you eat because you're, on your tongue you've got sections of sweet, sour, salty and bitter. Yeah. You want to stimulate the bitter part of your tongue, which sends the message to your gut, releases the gastric juices, the enzymes and bile, which prepares your stomach for food. So hence your mouth watering. Your mouth you watering, your, bo your body yeah. then digests your food better, which means you won't get as much indigestion. But there is a myriad of other incredible things that the dandelion can do, um, including some incredible new research it seems like it could have some real cancer fighting potential obviously it's still in testing but the research does look promising and in particular it, it seems to be quite good for lung inflammation pancreas um so yeah i'm really interesting to see mm. what what else they um what else they say about that um it's also been known to help with tonsillitis oh as well well that's um, handy constipation arthritis general pain it, uh, the list goes yeah. the list goes on yeah well I think that if you enjoyed our video, I would like you to hit that subscribe button. I would like you to click the like button and share it with your friends because we are going to be doing plenty of these and we'd love you to join us on a weekly basis. So from Chantelle and I, we'd like to say 